Hello YouTube. This is a video of our family's GMRS repeater. This is a Motorola MTR2000. It is a 100 watt capable repeater. 100% uh, duty cycle. And as you can see it's a modular type design. As you may, may already have or know people who have these that are uh, just doing it privately, they often use two mobiles. And as you can see, this is kind of the real deal here. And uh, it's a completely modular design, like if your PA goes out, you would replace the PA only. Or if the receiver goes out inside the unit, there's a uh, an actual receiver module, power supply module, if this were to go out, you just replace that part only. It literally just snaps together like Legos. It's a pretty cool setup. And uh, our duplexer, looks like the camera won't zoom in on it. It's a, uh, a Telewave. It's a uh, TPRD 4544. And uh, wow, this thing's really, my camera seems to be having an issue, but this is the uh, four can bandpass reject. So basically, not only is it you know unlike the little notch duplexers, this actually filters out everything except for the transmit and receive, and it has a really good isolation to each other. And uh, it's been a really good duplexer. And we have half inch Andrew LDF fifty. Heliax. It's a, actually a Superflex. About 60 feet of that going to our tower outside. And uh, here in a minute I'm going to try to get a piece of video of the antenna outside. And uh, powering up the repeater we have a, it's a small rack mount UPS. And we just primarily do this to keep the power clean going into it. We have a polyphaser in line on the Heliax to uh, help prevent lightning problems and uh, this is to protect it on the AC power end but when the power goes out this UPS will kick in first and then when that's depleted the battery array about 90 amp hours of power that kicks in and again we use this in the event of family emergencies we have a uh, pretty wide pretty wide amount of HTs out there there's some bow things and some Motorola some used ones and uh, the cameras really acting up here maybe I'll get a better video later on the autofocus or something seems to be going out but it's a pretty nice setup it's it uh, never skips a beat you know, so even if we're not here and something were to happen emergency wise, you know, can't depend on internet, can't depend on cell phones. And our hopes are that uh, this thing will kick in and do its job and we've already tested it. It should automatically switch over and we should have, you know, quite a few days of backup. So again, I'm going to get you an antenna shot here in a minute, show you what we have. We have a, it's an Andrew DB404 previously made by Decibel. It's pretty much the same thing. I just thought I would key us up here. You can kind of hear our courtesy tone in there. Alright, next shot is going to be the antenna.